Get smart, keep well, it only takes the brain of an insect. So in the battle for health, we need to get as smart as butterflies, moths and ants, but also baboons and chimpanzees. This does not sound too difficult, does it? Well, Jap Larude, lead author of this study of Emory University, Atlanta, in his paper, said, we thought that only animals with a high cognitive ability could self-medicate, but now we are showing that even insects can do it. And Mark Hunter, an ecologist at the University of Michigan, said, when we watch animals foraging, we now have to ask, are they visiting the grocery store or the pharmacy? So chimps with worm infections eat plants and antiparasitic properties. Wood ants and honeybees incorporate antimicrobial resin into their nests to prevent microbial growth in the colony. It is thought the primates pass on this knowledge, but insects have behaviour that is innate. So can we learn anything from this? Well, firstly, it would seem that nature has the plants and substances to heal us, and animals and insects know this. But we seem to be confused because the modern pharmacy and grocery store work together. One produces illness and one to attempt to cure. Generally, wild animals, unlike us, will not be eating food that makes them ill. They are self-medicating for infections that we also pick up, uh, not for food-related disease. So our learning process must be to understand that food can kill, but also that food can heal. The trick is to know the difference and reject the killing type and go for the type to keep you well. It is your economic power that will make the changes to the food system. Government will not legislate to remove killing food from the market, so you must do it yourself. Do not buy processed food, make it yourself. Cut out sugar and fizzy drinks, never buy corn oil or soya oil, never buy margarine type spreads, and never roast your potatoes in oil of any kind, except coconut, which is a saturated fat. Saturated fat is unharmed by heat, but all other oils are degraded and therefore harmful for your body. When you make your own food, you can regulate what's in it. Therefore, you take control of that part of your health that food supports. Just imagine how good it would be to feel well with no food issues. I met someone last night who had made the change and she was vibrant and full of life and wondered why it had taken us so long to realise the importance of cutting out junk. It is that simple. That's easy to say, but for so many it's very difficult, and my aim would be sport and encourage as many people to learn how to improve their lives by changing the food they eat.